Clark just bats in the front court. Davis, nice look, shooky on the move. Founders body painted it. Hey, Clark. Stolen away by Clark. Outlet pass. Molly D. Front court got it up. That's what makes her one of the best leaders I've ever been around in my entire life. Luckily, she's not just my teammate, she's one of my best friends. And so it's Caitlin Clark's world, and we're all just living in it. She hits a three. She gets a rebound. She feeds an assist. There's nothing Caitlin Clark can't do. Approaching 90 seconds left here in Kinnick Stadium. A scare. Another Hawkeye steal. And Clark whipping it to Martin. And one. She needs no space, and then the pass, threading the needle perfectly to Kate Martin down the floor. Up. Caitlin Harper just off the mark and quickly the other way. This is exactly what Caitlin to do with the rebound outlet pass. Clark should take it in transition, hesitates in the corner, rising fire. Down. Look at the entire defense focused on her. Who does she see? Gabby Marshall in that weak side corner. Her ability to get it to the second side. On time, on target, bottoms. Marshall. The rim, you think she's at home. Oh. Just leading the game, what a find! Holy cow, right on good as it gets in transition on the move I mean boom leading Kate Martin to the basket she doesn't even have to break stride here's a turnover the Hawks are pushing nice feed from Clark and Stucky Another just swipes that one. Molly Davis on the run, and so is Iowa up 17 here. turnover. Iowa can go over their total from Thursday night on this trip. And McCabe does. Iowa continues to fire its defense to offense. Maybe not many better at Caitlin Clark than pushing the ball in transit. She could have taken that shot. Gets two feet in the paint, but finds an extra point. Daly. In and out. Clark slicing it up to Storm. Of that sagging defense that makes you think a little bit too much. On the other end, Clark scoring all the time, but that that's unbelievable right there. Ooh, how about that? Oh my. They have fun, yeah. They can talk a little too. Bounce pass from Clark and a beautiful thread. And here's that fast break right in the middle of the floor. Knows exactly where Cynthia Falter is going to be and where she's going to get to. Caitlin Clark perfectly leading. Yeah, take a look. Right here, Kappen is off the mark. Clark gets a nice two-handed rebound, pushes tempo the other way, pitches it over, splashes down another triple for the squad. And the connectivity right here between these two, the chemistry, Kate Martin, the glue. That's what they call her. And she came through big time right there with the Jordanesque. Three, no good. We've seen a lot of those drop tonight for the Ramblers. 13 for 30. O'Grady the other way, off the glass. It showed on that possession, they get nothing. And you have got to get back on D. Catches Stokey slipping, and then here another pass over the top. Stokey, I understand she was to be a track runner, and you can. Clark steals the double bomb, and Clark to steal. Behind the back, Caitlin Clark, bounce feet ahead. Marshall got sideswiped and scores. Next. And then Caitlin Clark behind the back, up ahead to Gabby Marshall. Both Mark 
Kurkowski and Stolke went to the floor hard on that play. Flower. Who do you have? She doesn't care about the score right now. This is a major emphasis for their team. Gabby Marshall has knocked down three threes already. She's left wide open, but this has been a great couple of games for Gabby Marshall. Zora, she'd been struggling to shoot a little bit this season below. Her all-time scoring record. I know Dr. Christine Grant would be so proud of Beth Getz, and she would want people. And if you run the court, Caitlin Clark is going to reward you. As Clark looks ahead, she knows her buddy where Kate Martin is going to weaving and Clark retrieving and dropping the dime. Caitlin Clark, the passer, loving this cut. Just falls off the front iron. Iowa controlling the glass, controlling the transition. Action with Molly Davis. Hawkeyes are out and running, and they are up big. You can see both her numbers. She bobbles it, turnover, a falter. Two high school teammates going against each other right there. Gabby Marshall, Layla Filia, Stolke from game ended. They have come out on fire. Caitlin Clark using her vision, arguably the most valuable part of her game. 21 points already for the young woman with the basketball. Gets it to Martin somehow. The step back from right to left from the assist. Thread the needle. Kate Martin catching that in traffic. Steve Mackerlane and Caitlin Clark pushing it. And Clark played underneath that screen. And Clark's feed to O'Grady. Freezing there. I remember having to clap my hands together on the catch. You can't really get a good grip on the basketball, and that's what you want as a shooter. Again, Caitlin over the place. Let's see the board work. That's Stolke running the floor. Remaining out there, along with Stolke, with Warnock and Sonato on the bench. Marshall, nuts! Sonato off the rebound. Thank you, Drea. Here's Clark. Marshall alone. Cut it! Point shooting teams are never out of a game, and Iowa has upped the ante from the three-point line. Lead is back to 16. What a dime from Clark and Warnock by O'Grady. Here comes Clark. Clark trying to lead Warnock, unable to save it. Probably unnecessary. That ball just needed a little more bite. Panthers again shooting woes early on. Two of nine from the floor. That's not going to cut it if you want to beat the top three for off on the three pointer early. McDermott 0 for 2 from the floor in transition into the paint. Can't finish. Offensive rebound. Clark tips it away. And we're going the other way. That was a great play by Kaylin Clark. Had a couple players with two fouls that have been getting a lot of bench time as well. Under a minute to go, the feed and the finish. Best in the country. Tough pass and it's stolen away. Clark has options, now slows it down here. Hadela leaves it short. Fans wanted to travel. In transition, three is good. Timed that perfect, swatted it away. O'Grady, this is where Clark's great in transition. They got two on her. Clark has five. For them to get the ball inside. One and done for the Badgers. Quickly the other way. Come crazy. Here comes Caitlin. Her favorite part of the game. Lightsinger likes to go to that baseline drive into the reverse. She's knocked it down earlier. Cross court pass. Good look for Kate Martin in the corner. And Almost. Maroons in transition. So I believe. I really like Lockett. She's going hard. Side too strong. De La Salle struggling down low. Twong, the skip. Gable for three. Yes. To Twong and scores. Nurse is her name, but she goes by NJ. Her no good. White grabbed the ball. I don't understand her. Well, she's just kind of White, yeah, out. she stood there. This kind of waiting for the ball than, to come um, to her. And instead, Dowling Catholic now that finished the play. Once again, De La Salle. Unable to convert down low. 
Islanders, I should say Maroons. I'm not sure that's what you want out of her. White, you got to grab that. Now this Clark. is key. Bounce pass to Bulls. Yes. You can't take anything away from her. Uh, Clark is definitely a Division I talent. She Two apiece. Kate Martin now getting in down low to Stolke early. She's fouled and one. Up with the steal. And now Clark running the fast break. Gets it to Kate Martin. Another layup fall. The energy's already up, and Iowa has seen have found them fast momentum getting the ball back and forth. So it's exciting to see what else they can bring on to the later quarters and see if FTU can keep up with the Hawkeyes. Yeah, it was all-time leading scorer. A little bit under eight, about 79 points to go to get there. Gabby Marshall for three now. That one's a little bit. First layup from Toomey goes. 21 to 9. Iowa already running fast. O'Grady gets it and scores. Center there. Back rim, no good. Goodman gets another rebound. Clark pushing it. Full court pass. Stolke gets it. Gonna... Exactly her shot. This is up against O'Grady. Tries to overpower her, but right there is Clark. Mackenzie, great job sticking with her, cutting that off. Bobby gets into the lane, can't get it to fall, and now Clark will push, staring at a lot of blue jerseys. Yeah, transition defense, priority number one for Three from Parkey, almost gets that one to fall. That did everything but go through. That would've been good if that one came in. There's Salky right there. Her post for the deep post up, but she can't put it away. Clark whipping it across the floor. There's that ball moving. Oh, but beating everyone is Cook. But nothing comes out of that possession for Illinois. Kate Martin wide open. So two three-pointers either way. No good. Quickly. I always no time. It's well worded. But you hear from Coach Jan Jensen, who coaches these post players. By a falter there, picked up by Clark. Hawkeyes on the run. To a cutting Kate Martin. Round his way. Martin Davis, she is working hard defensively. Keeping Scalia, who was hot early, out of the mix offensively. Basketball game. Inside Assembly Hall, the wraparound pass to Hannah Stolke. She game. Parrish goes to the deck. No nope call. Here comes Caitlin Clark in transition. Davis in the lane. Top. Over 50% in transition. Able to respond right back. They've got seven threes of their own. Molly Davis. Oh, by her. Look at the denial by Clark there. Forces the turnover. Now the Hawkeyes can run. She finds a way to get it down to Stolke. Back in by Brown Turner. Oh. Extremely well. 12 points on 5 of 7 shooting. And, and Kim mentioned it. Brenda Free said he... Marshall. Kayla Clark drives. Gets there. Deals it down. Stolke five. Clark again, she'll pull in transition. Nice lob, Stokey, rim runner, up and good. Kate Martin just takes it away. Now Clark in the corner, Marshall. Scalia? Clark, and O'Grady gets that one. That's too easy for those two. Clark wraps it around for Shulky. Shulky has Clark with the rebound. Driving, feeding, short. Oh. Boise gets deep positioning as well. Michigan's got to get her a touch every possession. A falter, left alone. Caitlin Clark sees a striding hand of Stokey. Michigan's having success when they can get the ball down in the paint to their post players right now. Block. Rebound goes to Martin. You got to get back against the Hawkeyes. Before the shot clock, Clark is looking. Who does she see? Marshall 
threes already in this half. She can get hot. Transition threes are one of the hardest plays to guard in basketball. Marshall stops at the high level. This is what makes her such a special point guard. She gets her teammates in this. Taken away by Iowa. Caitlin Clark asking for the basketball. Slices it down with the bounce pass before the buzzer. The score. She realizes that some of her teammates are open before they even do. And Caitlin Clark makes that look so easy. Slicing and dicing. Finished by O'Grady. I Holds the follow through. Bounces a no go. Michigan's done a good job of quieting the crowd at times in this game. That is such a clogged paint right now because everybody in an Iowa jersey has a foot in the paint. Behind the back gets to McCabe. Her ninth three-pointer. A rim run installed. This is a good Michigan team. This is an NCAA tournament team. They already have a resume boosting signature. Before the buzzer, no, mates. And, and the team handled it well. They're trying to execute tonight. Clark to Marshall down low. Caitlin. Scoot by Caitlin Clark. Iowa so good running the floor, and a missed clock three, and that won't go down for Potts. There's the hit ahead. Caitlin Clark will throw. Open floor, here comes 22, stalking her prey on a wraparound for Stokey, who's found. Nebraska needed that from Petrie, it wouldn't fall, and Caitlin Clark with the eyes up. Fearbach, Kylie Fearbach, the junior from the state of Illinois, into the ballgame. Chicago's suburbs and Bennett Academy, she's been getting the line quite a bit in recent days. As we have a whistle and a kickball. So two there to make it a three-point game for Potts and a save at the end. Potts. Wow, Nebraska is playing really confidently right now. I think they've picked up their pace. Their rhythm looks better. Headline and saved nicely by Stolke. Clark fires it down low, and that's number one. That's exactly what Northwestern wants to do. Aggressive defense to start. Outs. And this is where Iowa likes to work in transition. She is a flat out shooter, always ready on the catch. Not in a hurry. The catch tried to save it. Clark quickly the other way. Glory this season. Last season, 76% from the free throw line. This season, 88. Nice movement by Fear Bob. Have this type of atmosphere tonight. A lot of black in the building. But still, a lot of fans of women's basketball in attendance. Sagging a little bit in that man-to-man. -man. Ohio State has not been shooting the ball well from three. They're going to test him there. Amazing job in his absence. Tangela Smith, an all-time Iowa great, by the way. Sheldon from the corner, just off. 
And Iowa loves to run in transition. Caitlin Clark will find you. Molly David, that pass, and I couldn't see a thing, Zora. So how Caitlin Clark saw that pass over McMahon and Green and all the defensive attention over the top, I don't know. Brittany Griner in that top five. That was 2012, so Clark was, what, 10 years old? I know her opportunities. No call on that McMahon move. Iowa on the run again. Clark finds Marshall. Little pump fake. Theory down to Mikolashikova. Does not convert. Caitlin is eyeing someone. She gets it to Davis. Martin sets her feet. Ways to string it together for four quarters consistently. Clark running. Fearbach sets her feet. Two point game here, 31 29. Turnover goes to Iowa. What does Caitlin Clark decide to do? Give and go. McGuff said that Shoemake can come in and knock down a shot for you. Step by Brown Turner. Cross court, Marshall. Pure. The black and gold are there. Davis left alone for three. In and out. Emily Fisher couldn't finish at the rim. A lot of bunnies being missed by both teams. And then Clark will push the other way. Clark finding Marshall. She for four as Iowa has ignited an 8 nothing run with a lot of flash to go along with it. And that was just beautiful in rhythm to promote it. The turnover for Maryland. Clark just pass in the front court. Davis, nice look, Shooky on the move, found her spot and banked it in. Brady. And that's three or four buckets, missed opportunities. Bun Clark looking to push, snaps one ahead, O'Grady receives, digs. Clark, open for three, no. Quick here if she, if she gets a dime. They deny, she gets it anyway, right down the middle, as you said, to a falter pressure because it's a smaller team you want to use your your speed your explosiveness but you have to be careful against this Iowa Morgan Sharp she is a sharpshooter career 43 percent from long range this is right there as Clark wants to go all the way O'Grady will finish it off for the assist Amy Velasco has been impressive with her footwork around the rim little step through ability Sharon Goodman takes her then you get the easier two. Another double-double for Clark, her fourth this season. She needs two more to go top ten. Woo! Ten history. And the handle. Here comes Clark. No numbers for Iowa yet. Late arriving. Drive and kick. Davis three. Knocks it down. TikTok, and she played it at practice today. Girls were getting down. Unconfirmed if she was walking through the woods <laughs> on TikTok. But this is a very good ice cream cone, the, the swirl of the chocolate and vanilla. Perfect switch. Nice inside-out offense for the Falcons. Jim Fee running the floor and... ...start out of the locker room for Drake. Uh, didn't get back on Kate Martin. This gets deflected. Four seconds. Here comes Clark. Ahead to Stolke. At the buzzer. It's good. Transition. We are in for an absolute treat. Clark. Here we see Hannah, Clark, or Hannah Stolke coming. Marshall ahead to Clark. Three on two. Clark weaves and kicks to Marshall. And Iowa will send it back to Clark. And she walked with it. Would have had an easy layup. The ball is loose. Knocked around. And here comes Clark. Fires up ahead. O'Grady is there for the two. Nice steal for 22. And you can see how much... Clark with the rebound. Clark with the assist. Clark with the rebound. Closing on triple-double numbers. And Clark with the board. She's running. She's been looking to feed her young teammates in the post. The ball has 46 points total. And I overseas, I played over there for three years. I was in Italy as well, in Castilla. The pizza there that the Iowa players made, I'm sure it was the... Well, and you pay, play Kayla King perfectly to make her put it on the floor. And there's the group. No, offensive board, weak side, and it's blocked. And here comes Clark, who doesn't have a bucket now in over five minutes. 
and missed out on an assist before this year. Clark, the rebound, the run out, looking for Martin, got her filling a lane, and that from deep, and Goodman has it. An extra chance, good hustle on the offensive board, but you got to get back defensively. And that's a foul. Clark to become the all-time leading scorer in college basketball history, 63 points away now. What a dime. Stokey finishes on the other end. Leave that screen by Stokey. And speaking of Stokey, rim run it. Get to the rim. And he was just over 200 points above her. Now it's less than that. And coming into this game, she would have had to average 29 per game. She is so good in that high ball screen action. The response with it. They just haven't been able to finish on some buckets down in there. Stokey's rattles home. Big defensive play there, and the Hawkeye is going to be tested by Owusu. Something that Coach Bluter mentioned, and one opportunity to meet that, so it's very possible. Absolutely, but ugh, you just have to have your Take a look, Caitlin Clark sizing up the defense and then throwing a dart to the weak side to Hannah Stolke, who finishes it. You can see the pace of this game is back and forth. Martin draws the foul down, and this won't go. Up ahead to Stolke, a little bit too much on them in rotation when they do want to push and they really want to utilize transition so much. Right, it's fight or flight though. Stolke. Higher from deep. And Clark with her first rebound. It's a team for Minnesota that can shoot, but they've had some slow starts. They need a quick one tonight. Stolke. And what happened the last time Iowa scored, it was an assist from Caitlin Clark. That makes her the all-time leader in program history for assists. And as I'm talking... Just remarkable. Watch it as she dribbles in and just sizes up the defense, draws a couple of defenders. She draws two. Somebody's open. Going to find the open player. Just having a tough day offensively. Clark sees Feuerbach all alone. After another. And then off two, three dribbles. The pass ahead to Stolke. Continuing on. Neck pain after that one. Look at that. Boom, right in there, threading the needle. Good job by Stolke. Still him. Layup not there. Beautiful fast break opportunity to the. Good work inside. Sara Guerrero able to put it away. Oh. Slight threading the needle. In Maples cannot silence this crowd. Leaking out ahead is Morgan off target and Goodman just by being there in the spot made that a really tough look it's so good at transition made me a better player in transition and I will say you're lying it's been a tough day from the three-point line only six made total but when you can get past in the post without her partner there and here comes Clark Picked up the dribble, finds a wide open Kylie Feuerbach for three. And a 12 to two run overall. Kylie Feuerbach is a three point shooter and she said, see, I'm a three point shooter. In the game, guarding Porter, the Hawkeyes have a five on four as Porter's slow to pick up. Martin from deep. A falter with a foul on top of the key. Schrammick's trying to save it, but a falter pulls it down. Here comes Iowa with a four on two break. Easy peasy for Addison. Yeah, Addison O'Grady into the game for Iowa. Comes up with a rebound. Here is Clark. Clark the hesitation. The dish. Gabby Marshall can't hit. Rebound banged into the arms of Clark. Clark in transition. Always dangerous. Finds the cutter. It's Martin who lays it in. Saw back to back give and go baskets. And then Martin gets. Bounces in the air, but rebounded by Sydney Fulter. And good defense there for the Hawkeyes. You really want, you want to waste that shot clock. You don't want early. Flat footed shot won't go. Caitlin Clark grabs the rebound. Into the corner. McCabe can shoot. Can't hit by Stolke. And that's what Iowa needs to do. Find a way to limit that shot clock. Get it, get it into single digits because you don't want, you don't want Loyola getting those. Sure, no good back iron rebounded by Clark. Gives it up for Martin, fakes the three, now drives in. Good back iron, rebounded by Caitlin Clark. In transition the other way. Ahead for a Fulter, she gets tripped up. And go. Basketball game 
Intercepted by the Hawkeyes. They are underway. No good, rebounded by Martin. Martin across to Fearbach, long pass, corner three, no good. Three, no good, and it hits Deptula in the face. She smiles about it, she's okay in transition. Taylor McKay pulls up from three, no good, back iron, rebounded by. And it starts with great defense. And Clark, it's like a maestro, it's like a yo-yo, the way she's able to walk the dogs. Line. A falter in traffic. Last rejected by Addison O'Grady. Clark into Jim Fee off the glass and in. It was good to have a replay camera. That's the best part about it. Stalky down the floor. Aches. Stalky again. Bellinger, no. Here comes Clark. Dishes off to a falter. Her three. Won't go. Fantastic job. And here's another look. Boom in midair. Caitlin Clark. Percent shooter after being a 39% shooter in her career. That last layup makes it eight points for Clark here in the opening quarter. You see her eyes looking. Marsha already has one. Block to a falter's total, and the Hawkeyes are off and running. Back. And here is that last play. Caitlin Clark, you have, you have to pick her up early. You have to get a hand in her face, try to take that. A sweep of all the National Player of the Year awards because she can pay for being a sponsor of this tip off. And the venue has been spectacular. The crowd is out. And Kate Martin getting it done on both sides of the floor. points so far for the Hawkeyes. They average just... Chloe Moore McNeil, senior for Greenfield. Tennis. It's a brick, loose ball, rebounded. Here's Clark in transition. Indiana back quickly, down the lane, the kick, rise and fire. Marshall, short. Now Clark back in the game. Baseline jumper. Three offline. Clark pushing. Finds Martin for three. The transition look is good. Points for sure, and that whole possession was really physical. Look for that to be look for that to be a story here in the second half. Caitlin Clark registers another assist. To end a little bit there and you see it there now. Caitlin Clark with the full court pass for Fearbach. We've seen that work a couple of times. Shot. Pettacourt missed the first one. Into the lane, Davis with an open five. Iowa off guard a little bit. Iowa's used to seeing a lot of different defenses, and that is exactly what Katie Gerald Almost gave up her fourth. Nobody picked up Kate Martin in transition. And then Eck had it knocked loose. The breakout for Martin. Good jump stop for the... Here comes Caitlin. She loves transition. So here's looking back. That pass ahead. One dribble from Clark. Puts it ahead to Martin. Martin knows if I'm not the one that gets the rebound, I'm going to run ahead to the rim, be out in front of everybody. Intercepted by Nolan now. It's Keiko drives into the paint, but rejected by Clark. Full court pass for Fearbach into the paint. And she is tackled. Martin to Clark. Wraps it around. Gabby Marshall. And has to force up a shot as the shot clock's expiring. And there's a beautiful outlet from Clark to Stolke. A falter with the follow. And a nice box out by Stolke. Martin, Euro. And good. 
second time. And Beth, the difference for Kintley the last two possessions is she's not catching it in the short corner. Oh. Stolke, Stolke running the floor. Clark continues to grow. Another great pass, and Jada Chimphy hasn't got a lot of minutes this year. Marshall, unattended. Starting on the defensive end, and then all the way to the other end of the floor. She was the furthest person back, practically on the opposite baseline. She just ran 94 feet. This one from the Ramblers, Galanopoulos, no good. Clark, some nice handles the other way. Needs one assist for a triple-double. Molly Davis has it after the is deflected by Stalky. Clark in transition through all the traffic to a falter. She sees everything, and then look at the touch on this. Stalky runs straight to the rim, right past. Up from three, no good back guy, and rebounded by Clark. All the way up to her. Stolke behind the defense, off the glass, and good. Defense by Stolke just made that a difficult shot. Look at Kate Martin run the floor in the feed. By Martin. Our zone off the mark, cross score, pull up jumper, that one.